So people, I've got an empty stomach and I'm shopping. I'm here in Lacoste trying on some gums. I have never owned any Lacoste products but this is the first time I'm trying it on and actually the fitting, fitting on most of the stuff is really really good. Might have an empty wallet after this. So people, uh, we're at Abu Dhabi Mall and I'm, we're going to be breaking fast here. Um, we've got like 5-10 minutes left. We actually came here for a shopping trip. Um, and we got here and most of the shops were closed. But as always, Miss Bila came for herself and I'm the one who's ending up spending the money. <laughs> But we must get you some stuff this time. Now, every time we go back to the UK, we always leave the shopping till the last minute. And so, yeah, this time I'm gonna get stuff for, well, Miss Bila needs to get some stuff. I just need to get a Kondora made and that's it. I might get one more polo shirt. I'm really impressed with Lacoste. Believe it or not, I've never bought any Lacoste products in the past. And I'm pleasantly surprised this was really good. It fitted really well. So I ended up getting two shirts. They were on sale. I wanna get a polo as well, but I'm looking for a, a specific color. So um, there's another mall that has that, so I'm gonna try and get that, and then uh, that should be interesting. But yeah, waiting for food now. Are you hungry? You might as well be fasting, man. Honestly. Well, I need to drink my liquid. Not to sleep now. delicious stuff I tried. Ramadan you have such a limited appetite and Miss Bida said we kept it simple. We got um, chicken dumplings, chicken dali, dali chicken, brown rice and that's it. Just tuck in bobs. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, oh, I'm trying to get the camera, mate. Nah. So we're in Zara Kids and we're trying to find an Eid outfit for Baby Kwan because it's the first Eid ever. We're going to be doing it in the UK. And we thought we'd keep it simple. Get a white shirt like this. Oh, I think it looks nice on my baby. We're looking for a nice baggy pair of pants. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's quite warm in the UK at the moment as well, so we need something good. I think that looks alright. Yeah, it's quite a upper. It's got like a linen kind of feel, right? Yeah, it's like a linen kind of feel. What linen feel would go it's quite like well a, with? It's a <laughs> <laughs> oh, that those trousers. I don't know. They might be all right. Zane, do you like linen? Mm. Nine to twelve. I I prefer those. I think it'll break it up a little. Blue. Yeah. Mm. These might just barely fit him. As in, but they'll be too big. No, just dead on. Dead on. Mm. Which is all right. You need to swear it for E, then it? It's 40 euros, not bad. Not bad. So we need that? Yeah, let's go get that. Quite thin as well. Check this out. Oh my god, I didn't think they would have them. I'm in Shark DG, and this is the first time I'm seeing the new MacBooks. Look at these. The. the what is it? The slate one? Space grey? This looks really nice. Really nice. I've got one in gold. I'll show you that closely. But this is really, really nice. It's a shame it's not 
uh, better powered. It's really underpowered for what I would need, uh, you know, for video editing and stuff. Because um, I use Final Cut Pro a fair bit. I use my MacBook Pro. Um, it's actually I need to upgrade my Mac because I've had that for a few years now. But this thing is just beautiful. Look at that. It's just it's so small. It's hard to even pick up. It's just beautiful. Really, really nice. I think size-wise is good. A couple of things, the, the US, uh, USB-C port, the fact that it doesn't have any other ports uh, is a bit of a bummer. It's underpowered, but other than that, display size is perfect. I wish they would make a MacBook Pro this size. I really do. Really, really nice. And this is a gold one over here. Don't know if it'll pick up on camera. It's actually more gold than it is on camera, but look at that. That's beautiful. How much are they? Um, 1.1 gigahertz is about 5199, which is I think just under a thousand pounds. They're cheaper here than they are in the UK because we don't have any VAT. The 1.2 gigahertz is about 6299. That's about 1,200. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, that screen is just beautiful. Look at that. What's up YouTube? Work is finished. I'm gonna make my way back home and uh, I'm completely shattered today because I didn't get up for Sahur. I didn't get up at all for Sahur, which is the uh, pre-sunrise uh, meal. Um, you don't have to get up for that, but it's always encouraged because obviously you need energy throughout the day. I went to the gym last night, so I'm completely completely exhausted from that but also <clears throat> feel a little dehydrated today because obviously I didn't really drink enough water to kind of compensate for the water loss since then uh, we went to the mall yesterday and the mall exhausted all of us out usually baby Kwan would wake us up with kind of shuffling or with his night feed around the time that Sahur happens but that didn't happen this time so yeah need to work on a more reliable alarm system to wake us up but anyway gonna go home probably rest up and then talk to you guys a bit more Mess. It's got yoga everywhere. Are you playing that boy? Okay, so uh, last week, last Wednesday, we did a Q&A question answer session and it seemed to go down really well with you guys. Um, so I think I spoke to Miss Bina. What we're going to try and do is do something similar to that like once a month if we can. Uh, but we're going to try and aim to do that. Now, um, you know, one of the questions that popped up uh, uh, last week, which I didn't get around to answering, was, uh, and it was answered, it was asked by a few of you, uh, was um, you wanted to know what cameras I use uh, for my videos, for my YouTube channels, and for filming. So what I thought was I would uh, answer that question, and it's poignant at the moment because I'm going to show you a, a little clip um, of a campaign that I'm really proud to be a part of. This is a campaign with Canon, uh, Canon Middle East. And uh, let me show you the video that they've got going. I can just show you a bit of it first. Basically, um, we went down to Dubai uh, to go and film, come and see my Arabia. And um, there was a bunch of other bloggers that were there. 
and um, I'll post the link down below and you can check out the full video no, I've, I've later done. on yeah, in the in, like. in on their Facebook page but um where is it there's a bit where they feature more oh, there it is like the Sam Kwan but basically it's a really really good campaign and anybody can join in I'll post the link down below and you can go and check it out but essentially, uh, there are three camera suggestions that I have, and they're not DSLR cameras that I would recommend if you if you want to get onto YouTubing. Um, first of all, there is the Big Daddy, which is this, the Canon G7X. This, for me, has to be like the, the creme de la creme of point and shoot uh, cameras at the moment. It's great, it's got an awesome large sensor, which means that it lets in uh, a, a ton of light, it's really good in low light conditions and if you go back to some of my vlogs you can actually see that in practice there um, it's really awesome because it also has a feature it's got a flip up camera uh, flip up camera sorry flip up screen rather on this side over here so it means that you can actually see yourself so it's perfect for vlogging and for front facing work that you're doing coupled with that is the fact that there are a bunch of manual controls in this as well so if you are a slightly advanced uh, user and you want to move away from the auto setting a lot of other cameras don't have that feature or they don't give you as many controls as something like the G7X would so for me this would be one of the ideal cameras if you can afford it I would recommend this highly. Now this is going to set you back about five to six hundred pounds, which for some people might be a little dear, it might be a little expensive. Five, six hundred pounds would equate to about two thousand seven hundred dirhams. Round it up to about two thousand five hundred dirhams, okay? So that's one camera option. Uh, it's used by people like Fun for Louis, I Justine, um, a few other prominent YouTubers use it as well, Ben Brown as well, uh, and I think Casey Neistat as well. Now the other camera is this one, the Canon Legria Mini X, and this is going to be your choice if you want that wider angle lens and you want that flip out um, screen as well. It means that you can actually point at yourself, see yourself, and it's got awesome, awesome audio features on this. Probably better than the G7X in my opinion. The audio on the G7X is fine, but the, the controls on the audio for this are really, really good. Now, YouTubers that use this are people like uh, FuziTube. I know he uses this for his vlog channel. There's a bunch of other YouTubers that use this. It's very good. It's very handy to keep around. Uh, Portable-ish. So that's something that, you know, you can, if you're looking for something that's small, then this would be uh, another choice. Um, now this is going to set you back about 2,000 dirhams, about, around about 250, 300 pounds for something like this. The only downside uh, that I can think of about this is the fact that I find this, the control settings on this, they're not very easy to use. And the other thing is the touch screen isn't as sensitive as what you get with the S120, which is what I'm using, or the G7X. Finally, there is this camera, the Canon S120. Now, I fell out of love with this for a while, but I've actually fallen back in love with this. This is PowerShot S120, and I think it fits perfectly in between the G7X and the Legria Mini uh, X. And the reason is that it's uh, price-wise, uh, it's round about, I think you can pick this up for about 250 pounds now um, in the UK, which is a just around about 1,800 dirhams, perhaps even cheaper, 1,500 dirhams. Um, it's really versatile. It's got a touch screen on the back. There's no flip out screen, so that's something to be aware of, but it's good for like, you know, point and shoot angles that you're going for. Um, the only downside to this camera is the battery life. I think the battery life, I have two, ca two batteries for this. The battery life on the S120 isn't great, um, but the color shots and everything else are really good. In order of preference, I would go with this Legro Mini X being number three. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of the wide angle lens. Some of you may be, so if you are, then that would be ideal for that. Then it would be the S120, um, and then finally, finally the G7X, because the G7X really is the top end tier that I would, I would talk about and recommend. So that's it. I hope that answered that question for you um, and for all the other people that were wondering about the cameras. You know, um, the best, 
I mean, there's a lot of other manufacturers, very good manufacturers, but for me personally, I would recommend Canon. And the thing is that, um, you know, I'm not being paid to say, say this, but uh, like, we started off with cameras and then the moment we moved to our Canon, the first Canon was a Canon Ixus, a really small red one, um, and we paid £80 for that. But that bumped up the quality of the vlogs, the videos, overall, uh, um, you know, across both of the channels in an amazing way. People were commenting and saying, hey, the camera that you're using is way better than the camera that you used in the past. And really, um, I've never had a problem with Canon. I find that the user interface is easy, uh, the, the warranty, uh, the repairs, if there are ever any that are needed, are really good. Um, the brand as a whole is really awesome, and it's used by some of the top, top YouTubers. Um, some of you mentioned um, the Sony uh, RX100 Mark III. Um, I haven't used that uh, extensively enough to kind of recommend it. The other thing is the stabilization on this camera, on all of these cameras, are a million times better than what I've experienced on other brands. So that's why I would recommend it. Um, and that's it. That's really the, if you're looking at getting a serious camera to vlog with, then I would recommend that. There is always the other option, which is using your phone. I have an iPhone 6. Um, a few Android uh, devices, you can always film on that and then move those over to laptop and, and Mac and use that to video edit and record. Um, they work perfectly fine. Sometimes the best camera that you have with you is a camera that you have with you. Right, we've got about half an hour left for iftar. We are really hungry. I am just marving, so I will see you on Saturday in Saturday's vlog. Until then, Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again from me and family over and out. Peace and blessings.